Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create 3D text within SketchUp Pre. Um, let's jump straight on in. So the first thing we're going to do is open up SketchUp Pre. So if you come into Google and just type in SketchUp Pre, hit enter. Now it should be this first link, um, there's a few other ways you can get into it but I normally go on here and it seems to let me in. And then I'm just going to click start modeling. Now here you'll probably have to sign into a Trimble account or sign up for a Trimble account and you'll probably be able to, um, you know, just open it up using your Google sign in. So but yeah, that might work for you as well. So these are my existing models. We don't have to worry about these. These are actually other classes or other lessons on my YouTube and Skillshare if you want to check them out. Uh, so I'm going to create new and we've got a blank model. Okay, so it's basically hidden. The text tool is actually just hidden underneath. When you click on these um, on your tools, you get little arrows uh, that actually expand to other tools. So on the left hand toolbar, underneath the rectangle arrow, you have something that looks like an A and it's a 3D A and it's 3D text. So you wanna just click on that. So from here, you can type in what you want to become 3D text. I'm gonna type in, uh, this is, then I'm gonna actually put it underneath it. Awesome. And then maybe an apostrophe like that. Uh, unfortunately, on SketchUp 3, you're limited to only a few fonts. Uh, in, in the full version of SketchUp, you've got basically all your fonts on your computer, which is really cool. Uh, we've got a height here set at 305, and the extrusion um, is at 152. You can obviously make that bigger if you want, but we can actually edit it once we create it. So I'm gonna click OK. And I can now place my text like that. And I can just flip it up like so. And then we can just move it back to the origin. So that's basically the uh, easy part of it. Uh, you can then actually come into the text and you know you can uh, highlight faces and group things. So I'm actually gonna group this area. Then I'm gonna move it a bit closer to our, our bottom text like that. And that is still aligned. And then what I can do is I can just scale this up because I think it's quite small. So I'm gonna put it up to about there, like that. So I'm gonna add some colors to this. So if you click on your bucket tool and you can see your materials uh, tab, we come down to colors. Uh, there's plenty of colors here. So I'm actually gonna probably do like a nice purpley color. So like that. And I click on that and my whole text turns purple. So I like that color, I might actually do this color, it's a bit lighter. And then if I want to, what I can now do is actually go into the group and change uh, the, the faces individually into you know the colors I want. If I press B on my keyboard, um, I can change that group to orange or I can change the in individual faces uh, to orange like that. So I'm just gonna go into this group and change these faces to the orange color. Like that, I think it's pretty cool. And then also what we can do is we can continue to extrude these a bit further out if we want them, you know, as far as we need them, to be honest. I'm just gonna oh, I grab my edge pull tool again. So I can just click on these faces and they're gonna extend to the same point uh, as my original uh, extrusion amount. So that looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you can basically do whatever you want with your text. Uh, you are definitely limited to the amount of fonts you can use in SketchUp 3. So in, in, the, in the full version of SketchUp, you can actually use um, a lot more fonts. And I'll actually show you, this is uh, one I made in, in the full version of SketchUp and it's just some 3D text and I put these um, people here. So I'm actually gonna render that out and that'll probably be the thumbnail for this video, which is great. So hopefully that showed you how to get text within SketchUp 3. Um, if you want to check out my full classes over on Skillshare, uh, I highly recommend them. They are still currently doing the one month free if you use my link below. So if you use that link and sign up, you get one month of Skillshare free. And I've got loads of lessons on SketchUp, 3D modeling, uh, interior design, garden design. And I think they're really good classes. So if you check them out, that would really, really help me out. Also, give me a subscribe and a like. That also helps me out because I'm just starting out on this kind of journey of YouTube and Skillshare. and I'm enjoying it. So, so I hope you liked the video. Have a good day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.